Hello guys and welcome back to the F1Tube YouTube channel. Now Lewis Hamilton is very much in the driving seat to claim the 2019 World Championship. And as we are closing in on the last five races of the 2019 season, it seems only a matter of time before Lewis claims his sixth World Championship. So that made me think... When will Lewis Hamilton officially become the 2019 world champion? When will he secure that title, which, let's be honest, is inevitable? So, to paint this picture, let's start off by having a look at the current driver's standings. So, with five races left and 130 points still on offer, Lewis Hamilton sits in first place, 73 points clear of Valtteri Bottas, who's in P2. Charles Leclerc is over 100 points behind Lewis Hamilton in P3. Then we have Max Verstappen, three points, only three points behind Charles Leclerc in P4. And then we have Sebastian Vettel in P5. So you get the idea. Hamilton should win the championship comfortably. Now, Lewis Hamilton cannot win the world championship at the upcoming Japanese Grand Prix. He doesn't have enough of a points gap to overhaul the points gap he would need to secure the championship next time round in Japan. However, Lewis could win the title as early as Mexico. He would have to be 78 points clear of anyone, really, Valtteri Bottas, after the Mexican Grand Prix to officially be crowned champion. Or, in other words, Lewis would only need to outscore Valtteri Bottas by five points in the next two races. One thing I will say very quickly though is count back. Lewis Hamilton will benefit from the count back rule if needed because with five races left Lewis Hamilton has seven more wins than the nearest drivers. Hamilton has nine wins. The closest drivers in terms of race wins this season are Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Valtteri Bottas each having two apiece. So for Bottas to win the championship he would have to outscore Hamilton by 74 points from now to the end of the season. So I think you get the idea. But if Lewis does not win the title in Mexico, he would have to be 52 points clear of the closest rival after the United States Grand Prix. And even if that doesn't happen, he would have to be 26 points clear of the nearest driver after the penultimate round of the season in Brazil. And if we somehow get an Abu Dhabi title showdown, all Lewis needs is just to have at least equal points to his nearest rival. Because, of course, we have the countback rule, which I alluded to earlier. Now, what do I think will happen? I personally believe Lewis will win his sixth world title at the Mexican Grand Prix, which one is the earliest possible time he can mathematically win the title and two means that for a third consecutive year he would have won the world championship at the Mexican Grand Prix. I know it's boring but let's be completely honest he is cruising towards this title. Now I'm going to briefly be talking about Lewis's season so far. Now if he does win the championship, which let's be honest will probably happen this month, I don't personally believe this has been Lewis's best season because he hasn't been pushed to the limits that we know he has. In 2018, I still believe Ferrari did have the quickest car on the grid, but Lewis exposed Ferrari's flaws. He did not let the scarlet red outfit breathe. He produced an array of masterful races, used the Italian, Singapore, German Grand Prix as prime examples. Don't get me wrong, that Mercedes team was definitely better than the Ferrari team, but I feel that Lewis really pushed himself beyond the limits he personally believed believed he had. I also believe Lewis performed better in 2017 because again he was pushed right to the maximum. Again don't get me wrong Lewis has driven a brilliant 2019. He has produced some stellar performances. Use Monaco as an example that defensive masterclass against Max Verstappen. The French Grand Prix where he crushed the opposition and the Hungarian Grand Prix where he drove right on the edge for 70 laps of that race. It's just that Lewis relishes and excels in 
wheel to wheel combat and that's what we want to see more of Lewis going side by side with the best drivers and the most fierce drivers in this sport but we haven't seen enough of that in my eyes to judge that this has been Lewis's best season yet but guys that is it for today's video please like this video comment down below what you thought of this video and please subscribe to the F1 Tube YouTube channel for more content like this but until next time guys see you later